This is Mark Karadimos from MathGuide.com. Today we're going to talk about how to calculate the surface area of a sphere. Uh, and uh, for the purposes of this video, I'd like to start with a soccer ball. So this is a soccer ball. And it turns out that a soccer ball has a radius. I'll put this up here. It has a radius equal to approximately 4.4 inches. Smaller than I had thought. I thought it would be larger, but remember this is the radius, not the diameter, all the way across. This is of course halfway across. So when you, of course, you measure uh, a radius, you have to start from the center. Now picture us being the center of this ball, not on the surface of the soccer ball. So if you're from the center and you go all the way to a point on the ball, that's the distance we're referring to. All right, well, I'm going to get the soccer ball out of here, and we're going to go to a generic-looking sphere. So here's our sphere, um, more delicately done here. And, uh, of course, this is the distance that we're referring to. This is the 4.4 inches. Okay, so we got a 4.4-inch radius sphere. Uh, we're, when we calculate surface area of a sphere, there is a formula. Oops, I want to do this in white. Just a better contrast. All right, so the surface area is 4 pi r squared. Okay, so that's the formula that I'm going to use. So I'm going to plug in some values, and I'm going to keep in pi. In other words, I'm just going to keep the symbol for pi, not the uh, number for pi. And let's just see what happens. So I've got a 4.4 uh, inch radius, which I have to square. Okay, so I plugged in the 4.4 and squared it earlier, and I get 19.36. And of course, inches times inches is inches squared. So I'm going to multiply this 19.36 times 4, and I'm going to get approximately, actually, exactly, 77.44. That's, of course, the pi is still in there, and the units are still inches squared. So now this answer is in terms of pi. And uh, mathematicians sometimes like this. They like to leave it in terms of pi. Now, if uh, you're a scientist and you're actually working uh, with some formulas and, let's say, some scenario, you don't want this in terms of pi. You want a decimal approximate. Uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to plug in the approximate value for pi. Now, now technically, this isn't really an exact answer. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that right. It is an exact answer if this is the radius. Now, there is some fluctuation for a soccer ball. You should know this after our recent uh, uh, NFL championship uh, that, that occurred that there was some inflation. Well, it turns out that there is some variability. You, you can have a slightly larger, slightly smaller. So it's kind of a general uh, answer. But in, if this is our radius, then this would be an exact answer. Okay, But just let it be known that soccer balls do kind of fluctuate depending on pressure and so forth. All right, but this is the exact surface area in terms of pi for this radius. All right, now... I am going to put in a value here for pi. Now this is an approximation. So now that's why I put the little wavy symbols because now we're dealing, certainly dealing with an approximation. So if I multiply this value times our approximate value for pi, I'm getting approximately 243.16 inches squared. Uh, okay, so there you have it. There is our surface area. So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other instructional videos, our interactive quizzes, and of course our text lessons. Take care.